Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So we have seen the new and used vehicle market spiral out of control over the last five, six, seven months. We just saw Vroom shut their virtual doors and close up shop. We also just saw, if you live in the Pacific Northwest, Northwest Motorsports actually just closed up shop as well. And that is a huge, huge indicator of just how bad things are. So Northwest Motorsports, they have, I think it was over 11 dealerships throughout the entire Pacific Northwest, and they were all huge dealerships, and they've been around for a while. So for them to close up shop, that is another huge indicator of the direction we're going. So stick with me in this video because I've learned some new details that I want to present to you. And if you've been on the fence of buying a vehicle in 2024, you may want to hear some of these stats. And at the very end, I will perhaps present to you the most important blow to the automotive market that we're seeing right now that nobody's really talking about, but I do believe it is the most detrimental. So first, let me paint a clear picture for you. So over last year, auto payments within the United States are up 11.5%. The number of people that have a car payment over $1,000 from last year is up 18%. The entire American auto loan debt is currently at $1.6 trillion. That is up 89% over the last decade. Let that sink in. So we are currently seeing the largest year over year increase in auto loan debt. So within the United States, we are up $71 billion in auto loan debt from 2022 to 2023. And we're actually just over that of an increase of $73 billion from 2023 to 2024. So it's a compounding issue. And both of those years are staggering numbers if you look at the big picture. So because of that, we are seeing the largest auto loan delinquency rates, the largest number of repossessions taking place, up 21% over last year just for repos alone. And we are also seeing the largest supply levels that we have ever seen in this nation. So we're seeing an average lot time of 70 to 80 days currently on dealership lots. They just can't move their inventory, new and used, they can't move it. Even if they incentivize the crud out of it, people just aren't being able to purchase right now. So credit scores have gone down just a little bit. Last year, the average was 719 for the average consumer buying a new vehicle. This year, it's 716. So not much of a change there. However, what we did see a huge change in is the actual interest rates that we're getting on these vehicles that we're buying, right? So with excellent credit score, you're looking at a 7 to 10% interest rate, which is already awful and a half. With a fair or good credit score, you're looking at 10 to 15% and up to 25% interest being charged if you have poor or subprime credit. That is absolutely terrible. And the interest rates get worse if you buy a used vehicle. It's a little bit better on new vehicles. And I hate even saying it like that, a little bit better? That is awful. In what world is seven to 10% better? So I mentioned how car payments are up 11.5% from last year. And I also mentioned how there is a huge increase of people who are spending over $1,000 for their car payment now. Currently, the average car payment within the U.S. is $762. That is huge, right? When you say that out loud, that is a huge payment going out every single month. And of course, even more for the people spending over a thousand. But you know, there's a pendulum. You got people spending less. The average is $762. And why is that? We talked about it before. There has been a huge increase in the MSRP prices, right? The, the manufacturer suggested retail prices have gone up 36% since 2019. That is absolutely insane. So just over the last four and a half years, we've seen over a third of the price jump on every vehicle from across the entire board. That is absurd. And now for the most important bit, the part that nobody's talking about, and that is auto insurance. Insurance premiums have gotten absolutely out of hand throughout just the last couple of years. Let me paint a picture for you. So back in 2007, people were paying on average $840 for their annual insurance premium for full coverage, okay? $840 was the average annual insurance premium. Fast forward to 2014, just a decade ago, $920 was the annual average insurance premium. And let's just look for fun, 2018. 2018, really what, just six years ago, not even, people were paying just under $1,200. So 1190 is the average, was the average. Now, fast forward to 2024, today, people are spending on average $2,542, right? So I'm, this is according to bank rates and consumer reports, over $2,500, people are paying for their annual insurance premium. That is insane, right? That is huge. And nobody really talks about that. That just bumped, you know, your average 
payment per month, it used to be about $60. Now we're looking at over $200, 212, 215 is what I recall it being. That is a huge, huge jump. And when you combine that with the expenses of everything else going on in the world, the cost of groceries, you know, the cost to live, your house payments going up, rent, mortgage payments going up substantially, that is hard to keep up with. And that's why so many Americans are struggling. That's why we're seeing such high repossession rates. People can't keep up. Something has got to give. But as you look at the numbers and you look at these stats, the writing's on the wall, and I don't see a light at the end of the tunnel. And I hate to be doom and gloom, but as you look through it all, there really doesn't seem to be an upswing in the near future. So if you've been on the fence to buy a vehicle, I would definitely pump the brakes. Pump the brakes a little bit, keep an eye on it. We're gonna to continue to see prices come down across the board because they have to. So let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think there is a light at the end of the tunnel? And one thing that Mrs. Untamed has been encouraging me to include in a little bit more of my videos lately is a request for you guys to like and subscribe. I always feel a little ugly saying it out loud, uh, but I do really appreciate it. I, I really enjoy talking about this kind of stuff. I enjoy digging deep into it, uh, and I really enjoy engaging with you all. So if you do find any kind of value in my channel here, in my videos, uh, I do respectfully request that you consider liking and subscribing. Appreciate you watching as always. Till next time.